What up JK Party, so today I'll give you guys a house tour. You've probably already seen part of this house within Bren's video and you'll probably see it again within Joe's video, but Joe's video hasn't come out yet. So, this is Tom's video time. Oh, shit. Sorry. And Julia's time. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's go check out what's inside. So this is completely different now. You see in Brandon's video it was on the, that wall with the textured wall and we're flipping it over here because I'm buying a 65 inch TV and putting it on that side. Because we always said we wanted a theater room ever since we lived together in our first house and we never had a, like, like it's the luxury to do it. And now we do. Saved up enough, made enough to actually buy myself a new TV for the whole house and we're gonna have movie nights and stuff. So yes, a finally official theater with surround sound. As you can see, the Christmas tree is always up. Reason being is that Joe likes to have Christmas all year round, and I do too. And every time we get Amazon boxes, we put them underneath the Christmas tree, and we tell them, you have a Christmas present today. So yeah, as you can see, our star is the McDonald's French fry box. Love McDonald's, sponsor us. Please. Yeah. Right, next, artwork. You guys can see these are pieces of artwork I bought at a gallery in Alhambra called Nucleus Gallery. Um, this is the same gallery I went with Brandon, if you saw his art piece in his house tour video inside his room. He has the art piece in there, but I bought a bunch of these around the house. Remake of a Japanese art piece, except they use characters from video games. You can tell this is Link from Zelda. This is Star Fox, pretty cool. Um, into the Kitchen, this is a... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. And this is the kitchen. You guys have seen this stuff. Alright. Cool, so change over here. Uh, different setup. We have uh, mixed things around here. This is like Brandon's side. Kind of my, sometimes my side. Brandon uses it too if I'm not here. Um, within this room is all the JK News editing, JK Gamer editing and any other edits that we have to do takes place in this room. But we also edit at the office to go wherever it happens, we edit. So Ken has his tower. We just recently built his tower to do JK News and other edits and music, creating music and designs and whatever other stuff. Ask the fills as well, so we have that. You're wondering why we have a bunch of air, like rifles laying around. This is not safe to have rifles laying around. This, you should be locked up. But we have them laying around. Reason being is that we're gonna have an Airsoft series season coming on Just Kidding Gamer. If you guys didn't know, we have a Just Kidding Gamer channel, yes. It's mind blowing, not many of you guys know of it. But yes, we have a Just Kidding Gamer channel where we're about to do a reamp on the channel. We're gonna start doing a Airsoft series um, on that channel with Gina and hopefully a couple other JK members and guests, um, depending if we can schedule them in. But hopefully we can start that within this year. And right now I'm holding a Masada Mag Pool. This is from PTS. Probably leave a link for you guys in the description box below. You guys can look up this gun. But this is a gas powered rifle. Um, no, this is not a real gun. It looks like a real gun, but it's not airsoft rifles. They feel exactly like the real stuff. Um, yeah, this gun's uh, pretty awesome, versatile. I don't think they use this much in uh, any military stuff besides training. Um, yeah, mostly uh, the US Army will use this gun. The uh, M4, this is the short barrel, M4 or AR, and that's it. Okay. Oh, and within the Just Kidding Gamer channel, if you guys didn't watch that episode of where the couch broke, you can see here why we're on top of milk crates, uh, doing one of the t tapings of the Off Ball Night show that we have on Just Kidding Gamer. The couch broke in the middle of the take, and everyone's like, Pfft. So that's pretty funny. But yeah, now it's just sitting on top of milk crates. It looks fancy, it looks more hipsterish every time we do that stuff. Or ghetto. Either or. Gips, hipster, ghetto, same shit. I don't know, it's just. <laughs> um, you guys asked me about showing me my Gundam collection. This is my Gundam collection. Um, I actually have more than this. Uh, most of it is actually inside boxes at my parents' house. But these are the ones that I were able to bring with me. Is there anything special here? Yes. This one, Brandon got for me from Japan. He was in Japan, and he brought this crossbone back to me. This is pretty awesome. And then uh, Brandon also brought this back from Japan. He got a little thing. It's so lonely that I decided to buy a bunch of little more stuff, so his Brandon's Gundam friend wouldn't be so lonely. 
so I bought a bunch of smaller little Gundams. So that's that, yeah. Um, we like collecting figurines, so we have figurines everywhere. These are like DC stuff, Marvel stuff. This is like Street Fighter, Tekken, and King of Fighters. Yeah, all kinds of weird stuff. All right, and then over here, these are more pricey. Each figurine is about roughly like 100 or more. Uh, this is Cloud. This is Lightning. These are all from Play Arts. And I always love collecting figurines. I have Batman, Batgirl. Down here I have Deathstroke. I know it's pretty dark, I'll take it out for you guys. This is Deathstroke. Um, this is from the, I think, Origins, Batman Origins ones. Uh, Metal Gear Solid down here. So that's that. I should put these in like ice glass in cases, but I don't got time for that shit. It's too much. I'm not that hardcore. That's the man cave. Let's go check out our room. It's like right next door. So this is a memorabilia kind of thing I keep around. It shows, it kind of reminds me of like stuff I did in high school, middle school, and maybe college, hopefully college. Yeah, maybe some stuff in college. But I have concert tickets on here. I got like games I've been to, uh, repping my school from Cal State Long Beach, went to a bunch of basketball games, volleyball games. Um, mostly concerts and other small things I've taken part of. Um, you can tell I was really into uh, performance, like aftermarket performance stuff back in the day. Um, that's just because I was growing up in Gardena, Torrance, we were really into that stuff. So besides concerts, I also attend a lot of conventions uh, and concerts also give you badges. So I keep this on me. Um, most of the stuff is all industry. And then most of the time I go to the concerts, it's always industry related. Um, this is VidCon, recent VidCon. I don't have my name on it, but VidCon here. Uh, anything that's interesting for you guys to know? Uh, vibe. You guys do like dance competitions, uh, getting invited out to Vibe. Um, Star Wars convention. Awesome. Uh, this is Kamikaze, a uh, guest for the day. Bamboozle. Um, back in the day, this was 2010, went to Bamboozle. Uh, it's like hip hop, rock concert they had out in Anaheim, I believe. Um, more VidCon stuff. VidCon stuff. Uh, heat Festival out in UC Riverside. Riverside used to host concerts and I used to go with uh, with a band or like a music group I used to work with all the time. More dance stuff. This was Sun God Festival um, back in 2013. Uh, went with Poriotics at that time. Ka Comic Con and ISA. I used to work with ISA a lot so did that stuff. And that's about that's. Typically, yeah, there's other stuff in here, but that don't really matter. But you guys, you guys get the point. Bunch of badges, stuff like that. Star Wars collection here. This is very small for a collection, but I have more Star Wars stuff. I just haven't had the time to take them all out and display it. I think once we get another cabinet, I can like show all the Star Wars stuff I have. But this is the most uh, important collection I have is this one in the back. Is this the super memorabilia of mine? This is oh shit. Oh, okay, don't fall. All right, there you go. This guy, my father gave this to me when I was young. Um, very young, I really love Star Wars. And the first time I saw Star Wars on a VHS, that's a tape, if you guys don't know what it is. At the time, before DVDs and stuff, we had Laserdisc. If you guys don't know what Laserdisc is, this is uh, almost like a record, in a way. We used to have these machines that play these giant discs, and it would come in multiple discs because data was written which is the technology was not out to write data in small, compact things. So this was the laser disc. As you can see, giant CDs. So it's pretty cool. Um, I keep this with me to show knowing that I, uh, this is a gift from my father and knowing that I, he, lo he, he knows that I love Star Wars. I got this when I was like around eight years old. All right, on to this area. Uh, this tower, you guys probably seen in the, like what's in my PC or what I built. Everything inside is like a Zeus, powered by Zeus and Corsair and Nvidia. Is that so? All the JK Gamer, all the uh, just kidding, what I'm just just kidding channels get filtered through here. Uh, I edit, I'll do some of my edits on here as well if I need to do some high rendering stuff. Um, I use this guy to take care of all the heavy workloads. And yeah, this is my table. I don't think anything else on here that's super unique. Oh, this one. This one I kept with me since high school. Um, a friend of mine gave me this to show. Uh, like it's loyalty and discipline. And I always kept that motto with me, loyalty and discipline. Oh, you guys didn't know, I don't fold all my clothes. I actually hang them. So, all my clothes are being, I have a clothes hanger. 
I just hang my pants, and like all my shirts, jackets. It feels like uh, you're going to the mall, but not really. This is like, it feels more fresh in a way. And as you can see, snacks. All kinds of snacks. And if you wonder why I have a bunch of snacks, you would know that I don't eat this stuff. And um, Julia leaves snacks in my room all the time. This is actually a small pile. Usually when we go get snacks, we fill a whole cart full of snacks. So we spend about 200 bucks worth of snacks. And this applies us for about a week. Horrible. Just horrible. Not true. <laughs> so I hope you guys learned a lot more about me in my room. If there's anything interesting you guys would like me to go in more detail about, leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll reply back if I have the time and luxury to do so. If you guys like this video, give it an awesome thumbs up. To check out other house tours, click over here. Peace out guys. I'm a lazy bum. <laughs> Soon World War II, and they're out to uh... Pearl Harbor! No, 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 no. Uh, Pride Ryan. Yes! Yeah! Oh, hey! oh, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> no! Just do it! Oh, 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 o